welcome to the Quarantine Cooks. We're so happy that you joined us today. Today we are making, by popular demand, chewy brownies. I'm Marin And I'm Callan. And I cannot wait to cook with you guys today. Let's go ahead and start with what you start with before you cook anything. Go ahead and if you have long hair, tie your hair back and go wash your hands. All right, now that our hands are washed and our hair is back, we can go ahead and start. Let's start today with our ingredients. Our first ingredient is cocoa powder. This is gonna give us all the flavor in our brownies. You need a half a cup of melted butter. A half a cup of melted butter is actually an entire stick of butter. So go ahead and grab a stick of butter, put it in a microwavable safe container and melt the butter in the microwave. The butter needs to be completely melted, but to use in our recipe, the butter needs to be cooled down a little bit before we can use it. The next thing we're going to use is white sugar. This is just plain cane sugar, totally generic. Two eggs. We have brown eggs, yours might be white eggs, does not matter. One fourth teaspoon of salt. We have this type of salt. You can use salt straight from a salt shaker if you don't have a big container, that's totally fine. You need all purpose flour. Ta-da! Vanilla extract. Ours is in this fancy glass container. Yours might be in a plastic container or a small little vial looking thing. And last but not least, we have powdered sugar. The powdered sugar is actually used for decoration, so we're not gonna use it in the brownies itself. Our measurements that we're gonna use today are one cup, a half a cup, a fourth teaspoon, two teaspoons, and one third cup. All right, before we start with anything we have to preheat our oven if you do not know how to preheat your oven go ahead and ask a parent for help our temperature today is going to be 300 degrees fahrenheit all right your oven is preheating perfect to mix all of our ingredients today we're going to need a big plastic bowl you can use any bowl you want to bigger ones are better it helps incorporate our ingredients better today we're going to be mixing with a hand mixer we understand that not everybody has a hand mixer, which is totally fine. You can also use a metal whisk or a spoon, or you can even use a mixing bowl. These are gonna be a little bit harder to use to mix. So a hand mixer is ideal. If you have a hand mixer and do not know how to use it, go ahead and ask a parent for help, and I'm sure they would love to help you figure out how to use it. So to start with our brownies, we're gonna combine our liquid ingredients and our spices. Our liquid ingredients today is gonna be the butter and the eggs, and our spices are gonna be the vanilla extract. Alrighty. So we're gonna go ahead and combine the butter. Our butter's cooled, remember? And two eggs. If you don't know how to crack an egg, just go ahead and help your ask your parents for help. And then for the vanilla extract, it is two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'll let, once you crack your eggs, make sure you go and wash your hands and get that icky egg off your hands. So while she's going and washing her hands, we're going to put in two teaspoons of our vanilla. Make sure that you measure everything. Make sure you measure everything over the bowl in case you spill. One. Alrighty. Now that the vanilla extract is in, you're going to take your mixing tool and mix these together on a slow speed first. Alright. Next thing that we're going to add is our sugar and our salt. So we're going to add two cups of sugar. Just the plain white sugar, not the powdered sugar. Make sure we're measuring over our bowl in case we spill. All 
there's one. And two. And then we're gonna need one fourth teaspoon salt. Alrighty, and we're gonna go ahead and mix this together on a low speed. You'll know it's done when your combination is a nice, smooth consistency. All right, after you have mixed that well, you're going to add your dry ingredients, which is gonna be the flour and the cocoa. So when we're putting our flour and our cocoa in, we're either going to use a sifter. If you don't know where yours is, go ahead and ask your mom. And if you don't have a sifter, a strainer works good and you can put all your ingredients in it and go over it like this. Today we're going to use our sifter. So we're putting in one cup of all-purpose flour and one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. I'll hold this while you get the flour. cup of all-purpose flour put that in a sifter and we're going to sift these together into our um, liquid mixture the point of sifting or straining is to um, evenly combine and mix your dry ingredients this is gonna make our brownies taste so much better and it's gonna help them mix easier All right, once you have sifted in your dry ingredients, you can go ahead and mix it. Make sure you stir it around a little bit before you turn it on and start with a very low speed because our dry ingredients will poof up. <laughs> You know that your batter is well mixed when it's a little bit sticky and pretty thick. This is what ours looks like. Yours should look very similar. So now that the batter is moist and sticky, it is ready for us to transfer into our pan. Today, the size of pan that we're using is a 9 by 13 baking pan. What we want to do is we want to first spray the pan with cooking spray so that our brownies don't stick to them when they are done baking. We're going to be using cooking spray today. If you do not have cooking spray, you can put butter on a paper towel, um, butter, or um, you can use oil as well, like canola oil, and spread it all around the pan. Make sure you get on the sides and in the corners of the pan so none of our brownie sticks. If you use cooking spray, take it over to the sink and spray your pan over the sink so we don't get oil all over the floor, and that can be slippery. Now that our pan is sprayed, we can now put our batter into the pan. This is a pro tip, so listen up. Today we're going to be using a rubber spatula to um, put our batter in the pan. If you don't want the batter to stick to your spatula, spray it with a little bit of cooking spray and the batter will not stick to it. 
So Callum's gonna hold the pan while I scoop it in there. Alrighty, now that all of our batter is out of our bowl, it's time to start pushing down our batter so it's nice and smooth on the top. You're gonna need a little bit of pressure and just move it to the all corners of your pan. Once your batter is evenly spread out in the pan, it's time to put the brownies in the oven. Make sure that you use an oven mitt or something that looks like this um, when you're putting your brownies in the oven because we don't want to get burned. Another safety tip is when you're opening your oven, make sure you're standing to the side of your oven and then opening the door so you don't get a bunch of heat in your face. If you're not comfortable with putting your brownies in the oven, go ahead and ask a parent for help. All right, now that your brownies are in the oven, go ahead and set a timer for 30 minutes. And when the timer goes off, it's time to take the brownies out. Hey guys, so the brownies are done and we took them out of the oven. We've let them cool for 10 minutes. Um, here's a little pro tip for when you um, take them out of the oven. Put them on a muffin tin that's upside down so that the air can circulate underneath of the pan so it will cool faster. So we're done and we're ready to decorate it with powdered sugar. If you put powdered sugar on while the brownies are too hot, the powdered sugar will melt on the brownies and it'll make this weird glaze thing and we don't want that. So go ahead and grab your powdered sugar and we're going to grab A strainer go ahead and take a spoonful or a handful of the powdered sugar put it in the strainer and just go ahead and go over there like so okay don't okay lovely and now we're ready to cut the brownies so this batch of brownies makes 24 and i'm going to show you how to cut them we have this cutting um knife if you don't have that a butter knife works just fine we're going to start on one of the sides one of these two sides and we're going to make a little cut or an indent just half of the pan so just an easy little indent there all right and now we're going to make another indent halfway between this and this side so right there is going to be where our second indent is. And do the same thing on the other side. All right. Now we're going to just follow this all the way down. Alright, now that those three are all the way down, now we're going to do the other cuts. So again, do halfway in between here. Make a little cut. And now on the edges, it's a little bit different. Instead of going halfway in between, we're going a third in between. So this is more of a guesstimation, but try to get two lines in there. So about there and about there. Same thing on the other side. There we go. Alrighty. 
and go ahead and follow these down. And now you have cut brownies. Congratulations guys, you have officially made the best brownies in the world. I'm so proud of you and I'm happy to call you professional chefs. <laughs> uh, thanks for sticking with us. We are the quarantine crew and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.